tucked away in between the West Maui Mountains, there is a place I go to escape. It's just a few miles away from the hustle and bustle of the town, but the noise of the world somehow disappears into the tropical forest. A world where everything seems to slow down for a bit, and time is only told by the running stream alongside the valley. Here, I can forget about my daily tasks, emails I have to reply back to, errands I need to run, even if it is just for the moment. There's nothing to do but to sit here and absorb the beauty and reconnect with nature. This is a place I come to to practice the art of doing nothing. Doing nothing sounds really counterintuitive in our busy, fast-paced world that is obsessed with productivity and efficiency. It's almost like busyness has become the new status symbol. And to be honest, I am so guilty of this too. I have gotten into the habit of thinking, what more can I do? Or how fast can I do this so I can just move on to the next thing? I used to feel so guilty when I wasn't optimizing every single minute of my day and when I crossed off something on my checklist, I would just fill it with another thing and this would become a cycle that was impossible to stop. I noticed that we do this with leisure time too. We are so busy filling our calendars with social events and planning our next trips, filling our time with mindless activities, not giving ourselves and allowing ourselves to take a pause and take it all in. But when it feels like everyone is running to the finish line, we don't wanna be the last ones to finish the race. I think it's in our nature not wanting to be left out because we will feel like the odd ones out. But this line of thinking and this mentality has gotten us to push even further and work even harder, which will eventually lead us to burning out. It will affect us mentally and physically. I can't help but ask myself, what are we all trying to achieve? I mean, are we just keeping busy to distract ourselves? You know, why do we keep running away from the present moment? When we are mindful, deeply in touch with the present moment, our understanding of what is going on deepens and we begin to be filled with acceptance, joy, peace, and love. Dick not hung with unlimited access to entertainment and access to our emails. I mean, we have all the distractions in the world at an arm's reach. And this is why doing nothing is actually really hard. It's called the art of doing nothing because it is an art. It takes time to master this way of seeing life and approaching life. I think it's needed now more than ever before. And this is something that I've been trying to implement in my day to day. I'm trying to take my time in the morning to enjoy my coffee and actually taste it instead of gulping it down on the way to work. I'm also trying to not listen to audiobooks or music when I'm walking the dogs. I'm definitely taking baby steps, but I've been enjoying it and it's been really working well for me and just giving me this overall sense of calmness. These simple changes have been my way of appreciating the simple and humble moments in life, not focusing on anything, no restraints, and just letting my mind wander. This is the art of doing nothing. I think the most challenging part about this is finding the time to do it. I mean, how realistic is it to take an hour lunch when you have piles of work on your desk or you have a family to attend to? Thinking about the responsibilities of our day to day can be very overwhelming, but this just shows how backwards everything is. I mean, the more that you have on your plate, the more that you need to take out some time for yourself doesn't have to be as extreme as taking the whole day off and going to the park to enjoy the afternoon, but it can be as simple as taking that extra five minutes to eat your lunch a little bit slower or taking your lunch to a nearby park instead of eating it on your desk. 
this is not a new idea. There are different cultures around the world embracing this way of living. One of my favorite Italian phrases is dolce far niente, and this means the sweetness of doing nothing. It doesn't mean to be lazy or sedentary. It is referring to the pleasure that we get from being idle, the ability to completely embrace and savor a moment. When we traveled to Italy, we were able to see that this is embedded into their culture. I mean, we would see friends just hanging out and having long conversations at the cafe, people drinking their wine, sipping it from their balcony, or just couples taking a stroll around the piazza in the middle of the afternoon. And it was really beautiful to see. Dolce Far Niente seems to be something Italians embrace and something they seem to have mastered. I mean, we can translate this word for word, but I don't think you can fully grasp the attitude and the essence of this phrase until we begin to understand the Italian culture. Something I recently discovered is another concept. It's a Dutch lifestyle concept and it's called Nixon. Nixon literally means to do nothing, to be idle, or doing something without a purpose. This could be as simple as finding a spot on the grass and enjoying the sunshine and just watching the world go by. Whereas mindfulness and meditation is about redirecting the focus to the present moment, Nixon is more about letting your mind just wander. It almost seems like it's allowing ourselves to daydream. The Dutch people use this as a stress relief practice to improve creativity, reduce their stress, and to be more productive when they actually do work. Resting comes very naturally to a few of us, but in the modern world, I think we have to be more intentional about taking a pause. And I think this is where Nixon plays a big role. Different cultures have different phrases to interpret their own way of doing nothing. But I find it fascinating that on a deeper level, we all seem to agree that when we take a pause, we can have this deeper connection to life and deeper connection to ourselves. We don't have to escape to the mountains or go to Italy to embrace the art of doing nothing. We can start anywhere, anytime, because it is just the mental shift. Our days are so structured and if we step back and just give a little bit distance between us and our lives, it can definitely give us clarity, a reset, an internal peace. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday on slow living, intentional living, and also my life here on Maui. If you want to be updated more, you can follow me on my Instagram at Malama Life. I post there almost daily and I hope to see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.